Hello, uh, this question is about uh, a Stokes law, a Stokes regime, and the question is a spherical particles of density 2500 kg per cubic meter and in the size range of 2200 micrometer are fed continuously into a stream of water with density of 1000 kg per cubic meter and viscosity of 10 to the minus 3 pascal second, flowing upward in a vertical large diameter pipe. Assume g is equal to 9.81 meter per square second. What maximum water velocity is required to ensure that no particles of diameter greater than 60 micron are carried upward with the water? Okay. Assume that the upward velocity of the water is uniform across the cross section of the large pipe and that the pipe walls have no effect. Ignore the interactions between the particles. State all of your assumptions. Okay. So. Here, assume that the particle accelerates so quickly to their terminal velocity, so that the relative velocity between the particles and the water is equal to the single particle terminal velocity. In that case, if the upward water velocity, okay, if it is less than the terminal velocity, the downward terminal velocity, the particles will fall. And if the upward water velocity is greater than the terminal velocity, the particle will rise. So in the limiting case, water velocity should be equal to the terminal velocity. So uh, assuming a Stokes law applies for the 60 micron particles, you can write terminal velocity is equal to rho s minus rho f d square g divided by 18 mu. Okay, so you have all these parameters now and uh, uh, you just plug in the, the values of these parameters to calculate the terminal velocity, which will be equal to Vt equal to 2500 minus 1000 times 9.81 times uh, 60 times 10 to the minus 3 with the power of 2. That is the particle diameter divided by 18 times uh, 10 to the minus 3. And that will be equal to 2.943 times 10 to the minus 3 meter per second. Okay, and that's the terminal velocity. But here we have to check for the Reynolds number to evaluate the applicability of the Stokes law. And we know that the Reynolds number will be equal to rho f vt d divided by mu, which will be equal to rho is 1000 times uh, 2.943 times 10 to the minus 3, which is here, times uh, uh, the, the diameter that is 60 times 10 to the minus 6 divided by uh, 10 to the minus uh, 3 which will be equal to 1.77 okay sorry uh, which will be equal to uh, which will be equal to point, uh, 0.177 okay and this Reynolds number is less than the calculated Reynolds number is less than 0.3, okay? So the assumption of the uh, Stokes law is valid. And that's the solution to this question.